The Case of the Backyard Treasure by Joanne Rockland, illustrated by John Spears, math activities by Marilyn Burns. The Case of the Backyard Treasure. My name is Liz the Wiz. This is my little brother, Henry. He's a whiz in training, W-I-T. Marv is our dog. He's smarter than he looks. Marv's nose always knows. Henry, Marv, and I solve problems. We are a great team, but every now and then, we get a hard case to crack. Very hard. It is the day after Henry's birthday. He has a shiny new watch. 101 p.m., says Henry, the W-I-T. Marv snores. 102 p.m., Henry says. That's a great watch, I say. Guess it works. Sure does. It will help us with our work, too, says Henry. He doesn't know how right he is. 103 p.m., Henry says. Zack is racing down our street. Liz the Wiz, he shouts. I've got a big problem. Everybody knows about Liz the Wiz and company. I leave my card every place I go. Got a problem? Liz the Wiz and company will solve it. Zack is waving a piece of paper. Read this note quickly, he shouts. Please calm down, I say. We will solve your problem. The note says... Look in my yard and you will see a goodbye treasure to you from me, your friend, 19-1-13. P.S. Look under the big 20-18-5-5. Hurry, you must find the treasure by 2 p.m. Strange note, I say. We don't have much time to find the treasure, Zach says. Henry looks at his shiny new watch. He thinks hard. We have 55 minutes to be exact, Henry says. But where is the treasure? And whose treasure is it? And why do we have to find it by 2 p.m.? Asks Zach. I, Liz the Wiz, stay calm. I promise we will answer all your questions, I say. I begin to collect the clues. Do you have a friend named 19-1-13, I ask? No, says Zack. Get the code book, I say to Henry. I read the note again. Do you have a friend who just moved away, I continue? Yes, my friend Sam, Zack says. I write down that fact. Then I study the code book. I, Liz the Wiz, crack the code. It's the old alphabet code, I say to my partner. Henry the W-I-T thinks hard. You mean, he asks. Yes, let's go to Sam's backyard, I say. We all run to Sam's backyard. Marv sniffs around a big 20-18-5-5. Zach has the code book. T-R, he spells out. Henry and I are already at the big tree. Now we will find the treasure, says Henry. But he is wrong, very wrong. All we find is another note. It says, less than five, but more than two. How many feet a Head to another clue. I give up. This is too hard, says Zach. He flops down on the grass. But my partner and I stay on the job. What numbers are less than five? I ask Henry the W-I-T. Four, three, two, one, and zero, he says. You are well trained, I say. I write down those facts. What numbers are more than two, but less than five, I ask. Three and four, says Henry. I cross out the numbers two, one, and zero. We will start digging at three feet and four feet, I say. Henry uses his feet to measure three feet. He puts down a pebble. Then he uses his feet to measure up four feet. He puts down another pebble. Zach says, wait, Sam wrote the note to me. My feet are bigger than your feet. I will use my feet to measure three feet and four feet. But maybe Sam was using his own feet to measure three feet and four feet, Henry says. Sam's feet are bigger than mine. Whose feet do we use, cries Zach. Zach flops down on the grass again. So does Henry. 
Of course, I, Liz the Wiz, solve the problem. You are using your feet, but you are not using your head, I say. I pull out my tape measure. I measure three feet. I dig a small hole. No clue. I measure four feet. I dig another hole. There it is! The clue says, Look for four straight sides. It is not a square. It is red and up high. Find the next clue there. I pull out my notebook. I will write down the facts, I say. The answer jumps right out at us. We climb up and find this clue. The treasure is 12, the gate is 3, the garden is 6, and 9 is the tree. But 12 what? 3 what? 6 what? 9 what? I think and think. Suddenly I have a terrible thought. I, Liz the Wiz, am stumped. What? That does not happen very often. We check the tree again. No treasure. We check the gate. No treasure. Henry picks up the shovel. Should I start digging up the garden? He asks. No, W-I-T, I say. I sit down under the tree. I've got some thinking to do, I say. We don't have time to think. Start digging, cries Zach. Henry checks his watch. We have five minutes left to be exact, Henry says. Oh no, says Zach. I stare at Henry's shiny new watch. Of course, 12 o'clock, I shout. Henry checks his watch again. You are wrong, he says. It's just a few seconds past 1.55 p.m. I jump up. You don't understand, I say. Pretend the backyard is a clock or a watch. The gate is 3 o'clock. You mean, as Henry the W.I.T. Yes, I say, the garden is 6 o'clock. And the tree is 9 o'clock, says Henry. Right, W.I.T., I say. And 12 o'clock is the shed, shout Henry and Zach. We all run to the shed. We find the treasure. Marv is barking his head off. The nose always knows cookies when he smells them. There's a letter, too. It says, Dear Zach, congratulations. Here are 10 peanut butter cookies. My new address is 888 Willow Street. My new phone number is 555-3423. Your friend, 19-1-13, Sam. Of course I will share the cookies with all of you, says Zach. He divides them equally. There are two cookies left over. A car and a moving van are coming down the street. I say to Henry, check your watch, W.I.T. We found the treasure just in time. I'll bet it's exactly 2 p.m. Henry checks his watch. I am right, of course. I know what you can do with those extra cookies, I say. Case closed. The end.